Ang pinakamahirap na sitwasyon na magaganap sa karera ng iyong buhay ay ang maliitin ang iyong kakayanan, lalo pat hindi pa nila lubos na nalalaman. Ang tunay mong pagkatao at dahilan kung bakit ka patuloy na lumalaban sa buhay. Isang buksingero noon ang labis na minaliit at nakatikim ng pambubuli sa pagiging payat at inusente sa larangang pinasok. Kaya naman isang nag-aalab na kumpiyansa ang nabuo sa isang buksingero na binansagang Cobra Raul Martinez. Isang undefeated fighter na mula sa Mexico. Malakas ang kumpiyansa nito sapagkat hindi pa ito nakakaranas ng talo sa kanyang buong karera. At sa lakas nga ng loob nito ay dumayo pa ito ng Pilipinas. Ang tinaguri ang Cobra upang matuklaw ang payatot na si Donaire. Walang takot at taga sa dibdib ang ganitong uri ng boksingero. At ang tingin niya nga para sa ating kababayan ay isa lamang pagkain na para bang nag-field trip lang sa kung saan habang tumitingin ng masarap na putahe. Isang masarap na laban sapagkat nakataya dito ang titulo ng IBF, IBO, World Flyweight Titan. Bakbakan para sa palakasan ng mentalidad. Isang buksingerong binubuli na mula sa Pilipinas. Donito the Filipino Flash Donaire. At tinaguri ang Cobra na lalapa sa mga kakabakabang buksingero, Raul Cobra Martinez. Sa unang tema ng bakbakan, ating mapapansin na naghihintay lamang ng atake mula sa kalaban. Itong sinunito, Donaire. At oras na nagkukumpiyansa ang tinaguri ang Cobra ay pinatitikim ng mabibigat na opensa ang dayuhan. On the chin and down goes Martinez, he's shaking it off. Did we mention the left hook? Now we'll see what he's made up for sure now. Martinez down. Two minutes into the first round. Back the left hand again, he's done air, nice. And those wild punches are not going to get it done for Martinez. Sa sobrang tibay ng loob ng tinaguri ang Cobra, ay naging malambot ang depensa nito. Ayon pa sa pinapakitang body language nito, ay hindi niya iniinda ang bawat binibitawan ni Donaire. Pero kung titig ng mabuti, ay dumudugo na agad ang ilong nito. You can bet they're listening for the bell over here in Martinez corner. He said, if I can take Donaire's power, it'll be a long night for Donaire, but so far he has not been able to take his power. From these islands. And he had two knockdowns. Obviously, what, ten, seven rounds the first round. So we'll see if Martinez can react with the power that you were mentioning. Again, even Martinez talked about it. It's, just, it's so obvious. You know, Nonito Donaire has had a couple of wins since the, the win over Garcia. In the last one, he had uh, some moments where he wanted to fight handily and won a TK in the sixth round. There were just moments where he didn't look, he looked a bit sluggish. But the problem is oh, the left hand again. There's the power of Donaire, and that's my point. The power of Donaire is the equalizer. He can hurt anybody if he's weight class. He's trying to finish it early, Al. There's again the left hand. Martinez just gets hit to the right. Martinez is just staggered. He's in big trouble. He's trying to stay away. Donaire wanting to put on a show on a Sunday morning here in the Philippines. The left hand down goes Martinez again. Hindi maipinta ang mukha dito ni Martinez. Matapos na muling tumumba, mistulang sa isip nito ay delikadong laban ang kanyang pinasukan. Taliwas sa inaakala niyang payatot sa ibabaw ng lona coming in to be manhandled like this in the first two rounds. You know, as Donaire was landing at left hook, Martinez actually landed a nice counter right hand, but the Donaire's punch was so much more powerful. Donaire's taking a lot of risks and chances the way he's attacking Martinez, but Martinez has not been able to land that one big punch to push Donaire off him. Down to the body goes Donaire. This is a surviving so far. Nice right hand by Martinez. Donito Donaire is just throwing caution to the wind. And of course it's working because he's knocked Martinez down three times. No fear whatsoever is what that's called.
There's the left hand again. It's so powerful, Al. It just staggers him every time he even slightly lands it. It just gets him completely off kilter. Now, he's trying to come back with a jab and show a little speed. Good right hand, though. Let me see if Martinez found an overhand right, and he has landed it against Donaire because Donaire... Isa sa mga nagiging susi dito ni Nonito ay ang powerful uppercut. Akma kasi dito ang kanyang kalaban na maliit na tila ba sinasalubong ang bawat suntok na binibitawan. Kaya't nagiging doble ang impact sa kanyang muka. Look at right there. Donaire squared himself up just right. to throw that right hand. That's not the technique that normally Donaire would use. Another hard punch to 12. From here at the Aranaka Coliseum in the Philippines. Three knockdowns so far, as Al just mentioned. And on air, there's a right hand over the top. Really for a positive win, wanting to take Martinez out. He really put on the show for the local folks. Martinez absorbing these monsters. Kung atin panonoore na mga laban sa nakaraan ni Raul Martinez ay hindi ganito ang timpla niya sa bawat laban. Kaya naman halos mabaliwala ang bentahe niya dahil sa pagiging undefeated ay hindi umubra sa Pinoy. Yeah, he is. He's trying to find some kind of a groove to get into, get back into this fight. Well, he found one weapon, and that's the overhand right. The more he can throw that punch, especially when Donaire is off balance to the tagging, the more he might make something happen. But clearly, Donaire is... Good combination. There's the boxer you were talking about, Al. And Donito Donaire, it's all about keeping his distance, keeping his balance, and landing those big shots from long range. That's what he does so effectively. Once again, we're in the Philippines. At the side of the Pulo Manila. Unti-unti namang nagiging maganda ang depensa dito ni Raul Martinez. Kaya naman muling humahanap si Nonito ng panibagong opensa. Kung paano ito papasukin? Dalawang bagay ang posibleng mangyari dito. Nag-aabang ang kalaban o gusto na lang makasurvive. Nanatiling kalmado at focus sa game plan ang kampiyon na si Donaire. Kaya't habang naghihintay ng magandang opening, bumibira ito ng matutulis na jab habang kinukuha ang mas maaayos na distansya. Parang bata na dinala sa roller coaster dito ang tayuhan. Kung kanina ay malaaki at babang opensa, sabay bigang tahimik na laro. Ngayon ay arangkadang muli sa maligalig na suntok. Abangan po natin kung paano ito ilalaglag ni Nonito Donaire. Certainly will put you on the defensive before you throw a right out. It, absolutely. You have to be really careful about how you're going to attack him. I think that's the angle he wants to come in with his left anyway. 
just hoping Ortiz will, will take the bait and throw that right, and he can come back with that counter left. Goodbye. And there was a, 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 a right that missed by Martinez, but there was not quite in position to throw the left hand. Donaire's jab a very good one, and he's using it there. And that's part of what makes this whole deal work. And there's the left uppercut again. And again, that punch is so good. It sort of comes from about 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. Not straight up, but it's, 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 it's a twisting thing that when it lands, it is devastating. And he, and he talked about his leg, you know, delivering and sitting down on it. Martinez has had no answer. What Donaire does for this, you know, the reach is about the same. He's got a couple inches in height, and he fights tall. Donaire fights tall. That's part of the reason what, that what makes him kind of a bad matchup for some of the other people in his division is what helped him in the Darshan in the fight. He fought tall and was able to counter Darshan when she came in. And it's one of his big advantages. That and the jab and the counter punch. It makes him a the uppercut. There's the uppercut. And, that's, and the referee just ended the fight. Podgorski just, just didn't see Martinez doing anything at all. That's the fourth time he's been down. Halos lumipal sa lakas ng impact ng suntok ang kalaban. Barag-barag na rin ang ulo nito. Pero ayon kay Raul Martinez, ay kayang-kaya pa niyang lumaban. Ano sa tingin mo, ka-brother? Tama bang ihinto na ang laban? O dapat ay ituloy pa? Dahil malayo ang pinanggalingan ng tinaguri ang Cobra. I-comment mo yan sa baba para magkaalaman sa tamang desisyon ng referee. Maraming salamat nga pala sa iyo, ka-brother!